Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. Today we're going to talk about a cable management a little bit and go into what some of these drag chain upgrades can do. Um, I went ahead and purchased this one off of Amazon. It was just one long piece. Uh, price wasn't too bad. I think it was like under 15 bucks or something. I did want to add a disclaimer or a note that there are options on Thingiverse for downloading and printing these yourselves. Uh, I just went ahead and bought them uh, just due to time, uh, but I wanted to make sure you guys knew that that was an option. So you can buy them off Amazon, which I'll link to the ones I purchased below, or you can download and print them from Thingiverse. I'll also link to that below. All right, so first let's kind of talk about why you want these or something similar. Um, really, cables are kind of sloppy on a lot of the printers to begin with. Um, I'm really looking at kind of clearing out the pathway around the bed. So looking at the x-axis down and the uh, cables going from the board into your main, uh, to, to your build plate here. Uh, I wasn't too worried about the cables going from uh, your stepper over to the actual hot end because uh, those are typically uh, tied up along the Bowden tube and are at least somewhat secure and can move around without an issue. Uh, it's more uh, below the build plate. Uh, I've seen a lot of cables get caught and just cut from being on the track or whatever the case may be. I actually had a couple cases of people in the community who just had that happen. They had a BL touch that randomly stopped working. It turned out um, the actual wire got caught up during one of the prints and just got sliced. Um, some of these wires, especially like on the BL touch, they're really thin. Uh, so if you crimp them, uh, you can actually cut the copper inside of them. All right, so before we get started, uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments about the process, go and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks. All right, so here we've got one piece. Uh, this was just, uh, I actually took it apart just playing around with it, um, but it was it came together as one piece. Um, I like these because really all you got to do is go through and just pop all of these up. Uh, which does take a second when you go through them the first time, um, but then you'll uh, just go through and lay down the cable, and then you'll just pop these back in place, and your cable is good to go from there. Um, they fold pretty easy, they move with the track pretty easy, and they're not too heavy. Uh, that said, I wouldn't just take anything going straight from the main board and just wrap straight up around here because that's going to be putting all the extra weight and resistance of that on your x-axis and you typically want to get that weight off of it in general. Um, if you're printing small parts, it'll probably be fine, but I wouldn't go that route. I would just kind of keep it going over to where the stepper is uh, for your x-axis and just kind of stick with what's here or maybe clean it up a little bit with some more cabling or tubing going from there over to your hot end. All right, so what I want to do here is I'm going to turn the printer around, kind of show you what we're working with. I'm going to break this into two sections. I might have to split this off a little bit more because this might be too long for the second one. Uh, kind of open everything up and then we'll run through the install. Uh, this process is incredibly simple and easy. Uh, the only thing you might need are a couple zip ties just to make sure things stay in place. Um, outside of that, you should be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I want to do here is kind of split these wires into two groupings. We're going to have the wire going from our main board going up to our hot end, or sorry, build plate. And then we're going to have the group of wires going from the main board up over to our Z axis. Uh, those should be kind of split separately, and if there are any ties or any wires in between, you might have to make some adjustments or cut some of the wire ties. So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, kind of get this stepper motor ca cable out of the way. All right, so now I've got two distinct sets of wires. I've got this one here, which is already shielded uh, going up here. So you can choose whether or not you want to use uh, the actual links on it or not. Uh, it does have this shield, like I said, and it doesn't have wires moving around, uh, but it does make it a little bit cleaner. And then on this side, this is where you got all the loose wires and everything that you really need to worry about. So we got to keep this off to the side. Then we're going to set the links up so that it comes up around here and then goes up through here. We probably will end up having to cut these zip ties along the way, but we'll cross that bridge and we'll get there. So let's go ahead and do this one first because it's going to be easier. All right, so with these 
uh, chains here. Like I said, you pop these up in order to actually put the wires in, then they close down. Then if you wanna separate them to uh, reduce the length, you can just pop these out and then just slide out like that. So you can adjust the length as needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open all of these up really quick. And then this kit does have these adapter pieces on both ends. I'm actually gonna take this off. Um, you can use it, you can put it back in at the end just so it kind of loops around here and then you put a zip tie around it. Uh, but it's not 100% necessary, but your choice there. But I'm gonna take it off for now. All right, now that all of these are open, we can kind of go ahead and feed our wires in. We wanna make sure that we're doing it in a way that the track can go the way that it's gonna be moving. So the bed is going forward and backwards like this. So we wanna make sure the track does the same thing. So I'm gonna slide a couple of these in place and then close them, push it down and just continue that way. Nice and simple. And actually I misgaged just a little bit. I have it slightly too long. Uh, I need to take off one of these links. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Easy as that. All right, so now when this moves, it's just gonna move with the chain and it kind of stays nice and clean here. Um, like I mentioned, you can go ahead and put this piece back on here if you want. Uh, you'll have to take off one more link and then kind of just have it set over it. Um, but frankly, I think it's fine. If I want to, I can put a zip tie through this one link here just to keep it in place, but this isn't really moving. It stays pretty nice. All right, so now we wanna go ahead and size out roughly what we're gonna want here. Um, basically, we do the same thing, slide this all the way in here, kind of run it along the wires and get it to a point where we're getting to about here. So I'm going to go ahead and separate it here. If I have to add or remove more in a bit, I can. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and open all these up again. All right, now that we have all of these open, we can go ahead and start feeding this in and locking a couple of them in place. Um, I am going to cut these two zip ties for now. All right, now that I'm closer to the top here, I wanna stop right around where this one zip tie is where it kind of transitions. Um, so I'm gonna go out and pop these two or a couple links off here and then finish uh, putting it back in place. And then the great thing about this is if you wanted to add additional wires through, you just pop them off, put the wires through and close it back up underneath it. So when this is going up, it's just gonna move up and down just like it would but now there's no way that this is gonna get tied up into any of the moving parts. And you just wanna make sure that you still have good um, complete movement here, which we do. And then same on the Z-axis, you'll wanna test that as well. Um, but that should not be an issue. All right, so I went ahead and raised our Z-axis up just to make sure I didn't have any issues, which I don't. Everything looks good. Now, I, like I mentioned before, you could go ahead and put a zip tie around the cables here and um, through here, but to me, it kind of defeats the purpose of the track, uh, but that's your choice if you want to kind of keep it in place. Uh, but it'll move up and down as it needs here and it'll keep all the tension off of the wires. So it's really a decent upgrade as far as that goes. All right guys, so that kind of covers some of the basics of cable management and the process to install the track here. Um, like I said, I did uh, the two going from um, the actual main board to our motor on our x-axis and then going from the main board to our build plate. I didn't want to go from um, the actual 
stepper here over to the extruder uh, just because we have the Bowden tube and everything there so it doesn't really buy us that much because uh, this is already a decent uh, support um, and I still have some chain left over um, like I said though in the beginning of the video you can print these if you want there's a lot of little parts you have to print but that's the benefit of having a 3d printer and I only bought these uh, because I wanted to get this video done and I didn't have the extra time to uh, kick off these prints because I was printing some stuff for my kids uh, if you have any questions about the process here or would like to see any other uh, videos go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on discord thank you